know. A 20-year-old man shot and killed nearly two years ago while police officers and federal agents were searching a search warrant. Now that man's family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. An ICE agent pulled the trigger during that search, killing Terrence Kellum. And now the Kellum family has filed a $50 million suit. It's a lawsuit that names two Detroit officers and that ICE agent. Jason Colthorpe, live at police headquarters. Uh, if one officer pulled the trigger, interesting that all three are named, Jason. Yeah, the civil suit, Devin, and this uh, wrongful death action uh, claims that one of those officers should have stopped this entire illegal action and the other officer shouldn't have uh, gotten them in the house with a wrongful warrant. Uh, it's, it, let's listen in. My son, no. My son never had a hammer. It's a simple dispute of the facts. An attorney for the officer who fired the shots says Terrence Kellum ran to the attic when the Detroit Fugitive Recovery Team showed up and dropped out of the ceiling with a claw hammer in his hands. But his father, who was there, says he was being led down the stairs by other officers when he was shot. As soon as my son stuck his hands up and says, but dad, bah, bah. right here and right here. He says there were several more shots that sent his son to the floor, calling out for his dad with his final words. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy concluded the shooting was justified. If the justice system isn't going to do it, and from the criminal investigation and the prosecution side, we're going to make sure justice is caught, at least from a civil end side. The $50 million lawsuit names three officers, Detroit police officers Daryl Fitzgerald and Treva Eaton, and ICE agent Mitchell Quinn, who shot Kellum four times. Ayad calls him a rogue officer. This police officer, let's go back in 2008, has been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, putting a gun to his own wife's head. Mitchell Quinn proceeded to take his boot and put it on my son's shoulder and see his. I said three and shot my son in his back. Clearly no mincing of words when it comes to this lawsuit. And again, it calls the investigation a cover up and that this was a good old boys network kind of situation. I reached out to all of the other agencies involved. None of them wanted to comment today. The reporting live, Jason Coulter, Local 4.